Hello you what's his face, it's Tygon here and today we are going to be looking at my sensitivity settings for speed acceleration so let's get into it. I'm going to go of course hit that little wheel right there then we're going to go into here it is it's been a while since I showed it but yeah there we go. So as you guys can see I'm no longer on distance acceleration I'm using the speed acceleration. My speed acceleration value is sitting at 150 and then my camera sensitivity is still at a standard sensitivity of 122 because I felt that it really in terms of just like looking around it didn't make too much of a difference when I switched it from having it on fixed or speed from fixed not fixed but from distance to speed acceleration with my standard sensitivity still being 122 it felt more natural to keep my standard sensitivity the same but as you guys can see my standard sensitivity is the same as it was previously my ADS sensitivity is 151 and I basically just made that 151 my sniper scope sensitivity 151 as well now my tactical scope sensitivity I don't really use the tactical scope at all but if I were to have it at a actual sensitivity it would be 151 or a bit higher because it is a little slower so I'd probably have it around 166 just remember if you are going to use the tactical scope it should be just a little bit higher but as you guys can see 151 for both of them and that is simply because if I when I'm mastering flicking and using the speed acceleration, it's gonna I want it to be the same for both of my sensitivities. So if I, regardless of whether I'm playing AR or sniper, I want it to behave the exact same way, and it will. Now with my firing sensitivity, the ADS sensitivity is 151, the standard sensitivity is 123, and the sniper scope sensitivity is 151. But as you guys can see, my gyroscope sensitivity is the same because I've actually put gyroscope on halt. And that's because I'm mastering my sensitivity. So if you guys are trying to master a new sensitivity and you do use gyroscope, please just don't use gyroscope because um, there's a few reasons. The first reason is one, you're going to rely on it. It's going to become a crutch. And if you rely on it and get used to using the gyroscope that you're so used to using, you're not going to master the new sensitivity you have because you're going to be filling in the gaps where you can't hit a person using gyroscope. So turn off your gyroscope and go and just practice with the sensitivity you have without drive scope. Now, when you turn it back on, it's just going to make you so much better because if you have gyroscope, there's a good chance you probably master it. Even if you haven't mastered it, there's no point in using gyroscope to be a fill-in for something. Gyroscope is supposed to be an addition. It's supposed to make you better. It's not just supposed to like, you know, help you out. There's no point in the, you know, let's say I'm, this is an analogy I made before if two people are pulling something like a couch so there's two people strong they're pulling a couch right let's say the first strong person guy one is my regular sensitivity guy two is my gyro sensitivity the guy one just stops just lazy doesn't do any work guy two is of course still gonna pull the couch really fast but it could have been faster so what I'm saying is there, you're just wasting gyroscope if you use it without mastering your new sensitivity. And one more thing, if you actually turn off gyroscope, it's going to make you a faster player. Because one thing that's great about gyroscope is the fact that, you know, it allows you just to transition and move over just way smoother. You don't have to click as many buttons and you can use gyroscope to fill in the gaps when you're doing something. But if you have gyroscope off, you're going to just get faster. And then when you put it back on, it's just going to make you even better with it. So... Just take it off for a little bit and then put it back on. But that is my sensitivity for my current speed acceleration. Now I'm going to get into a free-for-all and show you guys, not even a free-for-all, I'm going to show you guys some exercises I do to get myself really in tune with my new sensitivity. So guys, we're already here in sensitivity, so I thought I might as well give another, I guess, breakdown of my basic settings, just my settings all around, not just my sensitivity settings, because a lot has changed since the update. But we're going to go over it real quick. You can skip this part if you already know or you don't need it. But yeah, here we go. So aim assist on, of course. Fixed right fire button. The way I have my, sense, my, not my sensitivity, but my HUD layout, I do need a fixed right fire button. I don't want it moving all around. Virtual, fixed virtual joystick display position. So I want my virtual joystick fixed. I don't want it moving around. If you put on fixed joystick, it makes your joystick fixed, but it also makes your scoping ADS button, the, bu the button with the bullet and the scope on it, move around. And I don't really like that because I am a sniper and also I just, I play claw, so it's gonna be moving and jiggling and I don't like that. So 
I'm glad that they added this new fixed virtual joystick display position thing. So I do have that checked as well. But that is what I have for my particular, I guess, sensitivity and stuff. Now for, not my sensitivity, but my particular HUD layout. Now for ADS, I have tap and hold to ADS. And why is this so important? I've said it before. I'm just going to go over it again. And it's because it makes you almost like a console player in the sense that, especially when you're playing Claw, you can pre-aim something and then when you release it, you can go right back to hip firing and it allows you to skip the extra step of double tapping meaning you can just take people out way easier and it's really good for just quick pre-aiming you can quick pre-aim a location move on to next and quick pre-aim it and you're not stuck because when you get in that scope you're essentially stuck if you have to double tap it to toggle it now i have display left fire button of course so i can hit my no scopes and i can hit my hit fires and now i have slide while running i have tap crouch while sprinting so basically holding do not do it i wish they had another button altogether but of course people are going to be spamming uh proning but don't hold don't choose hold because if you're trying to slide it's just going to be insanely hard to predict that it's nearly impossible and it's not worth it it'll be better just to deal with the troubling crouching issue troubling proning issues now always sprint i never have that on walking is a very valuable asset so i have it at around 71 so i can get you know uh my good sprint on easily but i can still walk if i need to now gyroscope i usually always have it on but currently it's off fov range all the way up at 75 and that right there those are my settings and if we go into audio and graphics, I just have a very high max, all that stuff, just so the video looks good for you guys. Normally, if I was in any other game or I wasn't a content creator, I would just be playing it with it as low as possible. But yeah, that's what I have right there. So those are, that's everything. And of course, if, as you guys all know, advanced mode is the way to go. I don't think I need to explain that again, but yeah. So that is everything for my sensitivities and settings. But one more thing, I do have the music off because I just feel like it allows me to focus and hone in on so much more stuff, especially in-game. And I don't, I don't really like it at the home menu anyway, so yeah, that's it. What you want to do is you want to go and you want to find a practice versus AI. Now you guys might think, oh, you're just going to go over there and fight some bots. No, but that, I guess, if you really are bad with your new sensitivity to the point that you have to fight bots, I don't really think it's that good. Just keep on tweaking it a little bit to change it. And I'll leave a link to my how to find your own sensitivity video because that still applies here. Just because I have like a new sensitivity, I don't want you guys necessarily copying mine. Make your own. I have a video about how to make your own sensitivity. And so, yeah, do that. But as you guys can see, when I'm in here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take my finger right and I'm just going to flick it like crazy so what i'm doing is i'm basically getting used to every single sensitivity like I, i'm completely learning sensitivity i'm flicking it fast i'm flicking it slow and when you're doing this make sure to jump and do everything you can to make yourself as uncomfortable as possible now here's the fun part what i want you to do is go ahead and go fight the bots with them just try to get a few kills you might not think you actually get a kill but sometimes you actually do and yeah now after you do this you get pretty good at it go ahead and uh, you know start fighting people in free fall now of course I'm not gonna hit too many shots doing this but it's just to get you ready and used to the actual sensitivity you just want to get reg relatively near the person you're trying to shoot in terms of like your crosshair and stuff it doesn't have to be an actual shot it could be though but yeah so it doesn't have to be an actual shot just get relatively close and of course if you're actually playing you're actually gonna trying to hit them when you're doing that, you're gonna, it's just gonna be way easier to hit them because you're not doing this craziness. Now, do all different types of speeds. Don't just do one same speed because this is gonna help your muscle memory learn it. What you're trying to do is have your muscle memory learn it. You're not trying to have your, uh, you know, actual brain learning because I was talking to some people in the chat and they were like oh speed acceleration is hard because there's no like, there's no way I can really remember that stuff right you're not trying to get that to remember it you're not trying to get your brain to remember it you're trying to get your muscle memory to remember which is technically your brain but you're not supposed to think about it don't think about it you think amazing thing about the human body or whatever is it remembers it just remembers what the body does but essentially your muscles will remember what you need to do once your muscles remember what you need to do, then you're good. Now, the part where the brain comes in is, if there's a person close to me, I know that I need to use a little bit of speed. If there's a person further away from me, I know I'm going to need to use way more speed. 
and that's because they're a bit further away. Now, since you have muscle memory, using that combined with you knowing that someone's further away, your muscle memory is going to automatically connect your shot to where that person is and then take them out. Now, you're not actually trying to think or calculate how much you need. You just need to relatively know, okay, they're further away. I need a little bit, I need more force, or they're really close. I need a little bit of force. And your muscle memory will take care of the rest. So don't try to go ahead and actually, like, you know, you know memorize it and stuff. Your body does it all on its own. But hope you guys enjoyed. I probably would have hit more shots, but just the way I'm playing right now. Um, is a little bit awkward, like my position actually. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and leave a like on it. And if you have any more questions about like tips and tricks that can help you learn speed acceleration faster, let me know in the comments. But basically, all you really need to do is just practice. And I know it's, it's like many people think there's like some little trick that can get you to do it faster, but it no nine times out of ten, as long as you just practice it, you'll get it. And for me, it took about a week or so. So just practice thoroughly and you will be able to get the hang of this new sensitivity. But yeah, that is my sensitivity. One more tip though. If you do like to watch Netflix or you're an avid watcher of Netflix, just go into a free-for-all. Don't care about your KD and just practice just shooting people using a sniper. And that's because, or even an AR, but I really do recommend a sniper because it's like a one shot and it's going to still transfer over to your AR gameplay. Just go into a free-for-all, put some Netflix on. You don't have to pay attention your muscle memory is going to be building right there that's what i did to learn pen spinning as well i don't you don't actually have to fully pay attention to it your muscle memory will do it by itself but that is all once again guys